This is First Edition's Tender. Her name is Short Story. She's fast, quiet, electric, powered by the sun, and she takes us to some of our more remote adventures. Carly Johnson, JTB Marine, who's the mastermind behind our project. Uh, today we're working on the, uh, the, the electric tender and uh, we're going to we're basically dry fitting pieces um, and then we'll be installing them after we make sure everything's working. So take it away Charlie, what you got going here? Alright, well we got, we're, we've got the, uh, the control wiring going in. Here's a, here's a, uh, a diagram of it and it's a fairly simple bus system. All the different components, the forward battery right here, the battery charger, the aft battery, the aft battery charger, the shift and throttle up here, and the uh, trim tab switch, will, which will go up here. Uh, all those uh, talk to each other, they communicate over this bus. So when you push the on-off button and turn that and energize the system, it does a system check to ensure that everybody is uh, up and talking and communicating uh, that we have no uh, no communication faults, and then it allows the everything to come online. And uh, so today the goal here is they get it all hooked up, dry fit it, and then actually charge the batteries. Uh, the batteries what you can't charge the batteries until the battery charger and the and the batteries are talking, communicating, communicating with each other. And so that's our goal today is actually get in here and start charging the batteries and uh, hopefully make the motor run. All right, Charlie, thank you very much. Johnson, JTB Marine is going to explain the uh, charging system for the tender. There's a 12 foot tender by Nova Lux and Torquedo. And uh, Charlie, explain what we're doing here. Okay, we've got uh, what's important to know, remember is that the, the batteries uh, talk to the battery chargers over the Torquedo uh, bus. So we have to keep everything straight. And we've labeled everything carefully so that the aft battery goes to charger 2. Now we simply uh, go to pick up charger 2, take the Anderson power poles and uh, insert them thusly. It's very easy to do. Just look at the side and they will just they simply snap in place. So charger 2, aft battery, charger 2. And then finish with charger 2, the communication cable has to come in into here and go to, we've marked the, um, this cable is how we talk to that battery. There's a keyway, there's a keyway there, and you simply uh, engage this, the keyway, turn it around until you find it, there it is down there, and then you tighten that up, and now number 2, uh, the, the charger number two will charge the aft battery. Charger number one will, will uh, charge the forward battery. Same sort of uh, arrangement. We make the connection to the DC connection. And then we make the communication con connection. And again, charger one. Charger one. Find the keyway. And insert. Tighten it down, and now you, when you start the, uh, when you start power to both uh, chargers, we have that on a on a splitter on a a, um, a Y because they both have got to come on in exactly the same instant. So what we found to be the best uh, for the uh, kind of a temporary way we're doing it now is we line everything up, get the extension cord, and just slap it home. So both power, both power up at exactly the same time. Both chargers power up at the same time. You might have to do it once or twice, or maybe even three times. But so it will. They'll both engage. You'll get green blinking, green blinking LEDs on both uh, batteries and on the charger. The charger will show up as uh, having mains and charging. It's that simple. This is the first uh, sea trial. It's going well. Ran the boat for about an hour. We're down to about 
70% capacity, uh, ran anywhere from full out, which was 21 kilometers per hour, about close to 12 knots, uh, and ran about half the time, maybe three quarters of the time full out, uh, a quarter to half the time at idle speeds, and uh, ran the boat for an hour. So I just finished up. We've got basically 69% capacity, and although that's under load, my guess is that if I uh, stop here, we'll see. Turn the um, uh, motor off. We probably go back up to 70%. So here we are in Gulfport been a very cold sea trial. Um, I didn't dress as warm as I should have, but uh, it was fun to see what it did. And uh, that's about it here in Gulfport, Florida. For the first uh, sea trial, first maiden voyage for the uh, Torquedo Tender.